Fegana presence. Digestion in humans. Programmed by John Ferguson Aditi. Learning Objectives After learning this unit, you should be able to 1. Explain what is meant by digestion. 2. Identify the parts of the digestive system and state their functions. 3. Describe the changes that occur to different food substances as they pass through the alimentary canal. 4. Describe what happens to the end products of digestion in humans. 5. Describe how undigested food substances are eliminated from the body. The human teeth. Digestion. What is digestion? Digestion is the process whereby complex food substances taken in are broken down by enzymes into simple soluble and absorbable forms in the body. Food is our fuel and its nutrients give our body's cells the energy and substances they need to operate. But before food can do that, it must be digested into smaller pieces the body can absorb and use. In humans, the process of nutrition begins with the taking in of food ingestion. The food then has to be broken down into a simple, soluble and absorbable form in the body. Digestion occurs in a long tube that starts from the mouth and ends of the anus. This tube is called the alimentary canal. The alimentary canal together with a system of organs that carry out digestion, constitute the digestive system. Parts of the digestive system in humans and their functions. The diagram below shows the alimentary canal and the associated organs. functions of the parts of the digestive system in humans. Mouth Food is chewed in the mouth. Starch digestion begins in the mouth. Esophagus 
muscles in the esophagus contract and relax, to push food through to the stomach. Stomach The walls of the stomach secrete a digestive juice, known as gastric juice. Protein digestion begins in the stomach. Pancreas The pancreas produces a watery alkaline liquid, known as pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice contains digestive enzymes which digest starch, protein and fats and oil. Liver The liver produces bile which breaks down fats into tiny droplets in the duodenum. Duodenum Digestion of starch, protein and fats and oil occur in the duodenum. Ilum, small intestines. Glands in the ilum secrete intestinal juice. This juice contains important enzymes which complete the process of digestion. Colon, large intestines. Excess water is absorbed from undigested food in the colon, so that the undigested food becomes more solid. Rectum Undigested food is stored as feces in the rectum for some period of time. Anus. Undigested food comes out of the body through the anus. The path of digestion in the alimentary canal can be represented as shown below, from mouth through esophagus, to stomach, to duodenum, to small intestines, to large intestines or colon, to rectum, to anus. Digestion of food substances. How many processes are involved in digestion? There are two distinct processes involved in digestion. We have the physical process and the chemical process. The physical process has to do with chewing or mastication of food into smaller pieces in the mouth and churning of masticated food in the stomach. The chemical process has to do with reactions between the food and digestive enzymes released along the alimentary canal. Digestion in the mouth In the mouth, the food is chewed, masticated, and mixed with saliva to make swallowing easy. Action of saliva on starch. What is saliva? Saliva is a watery alkaline substance, produced by three pairs of salivary glands in the mouth. Saliva contains an enzyme known as salivary amylase, ptylin, which breaks down starch, and converts it into maltose or sugar. Starch digestion begins in the mouth. The chewed and moistened food is swallowed through the esophagus into the stomach. The swallowed food passes through the esophagus into the stomach, by a process known as peristalsis. Peristalsis is the contraction and relaxation of the muscles, in the alimentary canal, to allow the passage of food through the associated organs in the alimentary canal. Digestion in the stomach The stomach is a muscular sac, in which a meal is temporarily stored and passed on, in convenient amount into the small intestines for digestion. In the stomach, starch digestion stops while protein digestion begins.
the walls of the stomach secrete a digestive juice known as gastric juice. Gastric juice contains hydrochloric acid, which provides an acidic medium in the stomach, to stop the activity of ptyalin, and kills harmful bacteria that may be present in the food. Gastric juice also contains an enzyme known as pepsin, and in infants, a second enzyme known as renin. These enzymes are activated by the hydrochloric acid in the gastric juice. Pepsin breaks down protein and converts it into peptides. Renin in infants, curdles milk that is converts liquid protein, caseinogen, in the milk into solid protein, casein. From the stomach, the partly digested food is passed on, to the first part of the small intestines, known as the duodenum by the muscular contractions of the walls of the stomach. Digestion in the duodenum The duodenum is the first part of small intestine, which receives partially digested food from the stomach. Close to the duodenum is the pancreas. The pancreas is an enzyme secreting organ. It secretes a watery alkaline liquid known as pancreatic juice. Pancreatic juice contains three important enzymes, namely pancreatic camelas, pancreatic lipase and a protease, known as trypsin. Pancreatic camelas continues starch digestion by converting the remaining undigested starch into maltose. Pancreatic lipase acts on emulsified fat, and converts them into fatty acid and glycerol. Fatty acid and glycerol are the end products of fat and oil digestion. The third enzyme, trypsin causes the breakdown of undigested proteins into peptides. In the proximal arm of the duodenum, the liver produces and stores in the gall bladder, a greenish alkaline liquid known as bile. Bile breaks down fats into tiny droplets for easy digestion. From the duodenum peristaltic movement passes on the food to the ilum. Digestion in the ilum the ilum is the final and longest section of the small intestine. Digestion is completed in the ilum. Partly digested food is absorbed in the ileum for some time, during which many changes occur. Enzyme-producing cells in the ilum produce an alkaline liquid, called intestinal juice, also known as succus entericus. This juice contains important enzymes which complete the process of digestion. An enzyme known as maltase causes the breakdown of maltose to glucose. Similarly, a protease known as irepsin causes the breakdown of peptides to amino acids. Glucose, fatty acid and glycerol and amino acid are the end products of starch carbohydrate, digestion, fats and oil digestion and protein digestion respectively. Action of enzymes on food substances Digestive enzymes act on different food substances to break them down into smaller molecules or smaller pieces for easy absorption into the blood. Examples of digestive enzymes are ptyalin, amylase, pepsin and renin, proteases, and lipase.
The list below shows the digestive enzymes and the food substances on which they act. 1. Amylase The food substance is starch or carbohydrate. 2. Protease, pepsin, renin, trypsin. The food substance is protein. 3. Lipase. The food substances are fats and oil. The information below also shows the digestive enzymes, their sources, and the role they play in digestion. Digestive enzymes. Salivary amylase, tylin. Source. Pancreatic juice. Role in digestion. Converts starch or carbohydrate into maltose in the mouth. Digestive enzymes. Pancreatic amylase. Source. Pancreatic juice. Role in digestion. Converts starch or carbohydrate into maltose in the duodenum. Dige digestive enzymes. Pepsin and renin. Source. Gastric juice. Role in digestion. Converts protein into peptides in the stomach. Digestive enzymes. Lipase. Source. Pancreatic juice. Role in digestion. Converts fats and oil into fatty acids, and glycerol in the ilum, small intestine. End products of digestion. The list below shows the end products of digestion of food substances. 1. Food substance. Starch, carbohydrate. End product of digestion. Glucose.